Hi, my name is uh, Jean Erasmus. I was born and raised in South Africa, currently live in Namibia. My uh, major is Health Sciences and I'm a senior this semester. Well, I would firstly have to say the whole you know, community, Drake community and uh, the people involved at Drake um, is, were just amazing from the start to finish. You know, since I've been here, everyone's just been so polite. And uh, you know, uh, the whole Drake uh, legacy and you know, Drake's a very attractive school in the way that they, um, you know, they compete in the tournaments and in uh, various, you know, in their different sporting um, uh, compartments and things like that. And um, I just think one thing that I would like to take out of the uh, out of Drake is the discipline and you know the hard work and team effort that's that's always been present in every single sport there is at Drake. And uh, that's definitely what I've learned so far at Drake. That's what that's what's been like one of the best things for me so far. Well, first of all, Drake's obviously got like very, very good academics. Um, uh, I mean, I was, it's actually a very funny story. I was sitting, you know, one day and uh, taking my finals back home and all of a sudden I get this call from the coach. And, uh, you know, three weeks later, I arrive in my shorts and flip flops and a t-shirt in at the airport and I come outside and it's just snow everywhere. And it's the first time I've ever seen snow, you know? And, uh, you know, <laughs> I honestly didn't know anything about Des Moines or Iowa or anything and I mean I was here for three weeks and I still kept calling it kept saying Des Moines as in Des Moines so I thought that was pretty funny and uh, you know but I believe everything happens for a reason so uh, I also believe in a way you know Drake also chose me which is uh, to me very special and I'm very very glad not one regret that I've Oh this is team I would have to say that, that would have to be you know, probably the uh, diversity of the team members in the team and the coach. Um, for example, we have Alan, you know, who's the big, you know, guy who's uh, very known for serving cannons and uh, big serves. So, you know, you always have a person to rely on in the doubles for him. And then uh, obviously there's the our team captain, James, who's a great leader and, uh, you know, he's always there once you're a little bit down, he's always the one to be able to talk to. Then, you know, you have Ryan and uh, the mole bear who are uh, always, give you that competitive edge and that always make you play your best tennis no matter what. Um, then you have obviously the uh, newcomers or the freshmen, you know, Lottie. It'll be very interesting to see uh, what he's got in store for us as this is his first semester, you know, and uh, obviously Robin and uh, Grant, those guys, um, just really nice guys and, you know, show you a lot about how to, uh, how to handle the chisel backhands and like different things and aspects on the court. So. Um, definitely from that perspective, I would have to say yeah, the adversity and diversity of the team and uh, the way we all come together and complement each other has just been phenomenal. I mean, um, you know, it's, it's going to be really interesting to see uh, how we're going to do this semester and everyone's feeling good, everyone's fit, you know, especially the coach, uh, he's been edging us on and uh, whenever it was, uh, you know, six o'clock in the mornings when we would come to the courts and be, you know, not fully awake or whatever he would be the guy to step step up and you know lead us and uh, be able to carry us through all the conditioning even though it's six o'clock in the morning which i might add was has to be a little bit painful but anyways um yeah so i would just say the uh, whole diversity of the team and how we come together it's just been phenomenal <laughs> uh, that's a tough one i would have to say uh um, you know, just looking at the team and what the team has meant for me in the past, you know, three and a half, almost four years. It would have to be the dedication, the discipline, um, obviously the teamwork and the effort that comes into play. And, uh, you know, the responsibility that we all have with each other and uh, inside the team, you know, we look out for each other as friends and as brothers. And uh, like I said before, that's one of the biggest aspects that's really attracted me to Drake. In my own mind, personally, I like to uh, refer him to one of the uh, very famous golf players, you know, that I uh, have I've had the privilege to meet. And uh, in my mind, in mind, he plays a role as guy like Big Easy, if you, um, if I can comprehend it that way, um, in a sense that he's very, very calm and collective outside the tennis court and inside the tennis court, obviously. But uh, once we uh, get on step foot onto that tennis court, we know we practice and we know we have to play our hearts out, and that's. What he does best, you know, is just to get um, get us playing one hundred and ten percent, not just one hundred percent, getting us that mental edge. 
And I think that is one of the biggest things that's going to carry us through this uh, semester and why you'll probably see us in the uh, top 15 rankings here pretty soon. One of my, I mean, there's so many to choose from, but um, I would definitely have to say, uh, I think it was a year or two ago in the spring season, we were playing against Memphis and uh, we were obviously, we were the, we lost the doubles point, so uh, we were really down there. Then in the singles matches, we, uh, we were, everyone on every single court on our team was one set down. We all lost the first set. So this is kind of setting us up for defeat and um, next thing you know, you know, Anis all of a sudden just won his, his uh, second set and a little bit of hope cre creeps into the scenario and then James, I think, or whoever, you know, side by side, Robin won his uh, a set in his um, match and then James won his set and then, you know, all of a sudden it's get, it gets really, really tight and by the, by the end of the day it was something like 3-2 or 3 through. Uh, Three all in the uh, in the comparing matches, and uh, I remember this actually very well. I uh, was out on court, the last guy to play, and uh, I <laughs> was so nervous. I was hitting the forehands against you know before it would hit the net, but you know eventually at the end of the day, I uh, I managed to clinch a match for that uh, for that um, deciding match and. Uh, it's one of the best feelings ever, as well as uh, when James clinched for the NBC title. It was uh, one of the most special moments in my career and in my tennis career as a whole. And uh, yeah, I have, uh, you know, obviously Drake to thank for that and um, the whole tennis career.